also hot shots. That's the supervisor vehicle right there, and I got the two hot shot units behind me. I hope that's not an indication that they're uh, heading to someplace. But lightning and the weather that we've had usually uh, means that there could be a uh, fire caused by the lightning. Still no rain. Uh, I'm heading up into the high country now, up towards Heber Overgard. Uh, this water from the sky thing is really elusive at this point. I mean, I've been all over uh, where these clouds are. I've seen evidence of the rain, but I haven't hit it yet. I've still got daylight though, so we're going to keep heading up there. Up off to the uh, right, it looks like we got some decent uh, dark clouds. So we're going to try to catch up to this. Now, isn't this a huge departure from Phoenix? And I did uh, I get you in a few spots, but I want to have you arrange it now. But we're up over 5,300 feet, all in pine trees. Once I found some water, then I need to go out and find some dirt, and that'll make the day uh, even better. You can actually see that we did find some dirt trail. It is gorgeous up here. It is probably 20, 30 degrees cooler than it is down in the valley right now, so happy so far. Wish I'd have brought my tent. I've already seen people camping out here, and uh, man, that sounds good right now. Not a difficult trail. You can see some camping up there. Uh, but man, it's pretty back here. I can do this all day long. Well, I have decided to go out hiking just because uh, I am at the Bear Flat Trailhead. Uh, it has definitely rained up here because look how much water is flowing and it's all brown. Um, that's uh, fishermen and hikers stay on the creek. Well, I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot here, but we're going to see going the other way. This is really pretty though. We got a couple of other people here, and this stuff is really slick. I've already been slipping and sliding on this, but it's nice to take a hike sometimes just because. I'm still not getting a lot of rain. But those clouds are pretty ominous. That's what I'm looking for though. So let's see what I run into. You can see how much water's flowing. Uh, quite a bit actually. Look how muddy it is. Now this is an interesting rock outcrop, but for no other reason than uh, whoever's been up here before, uh, I see evidence of uh, crayfish. Good old crawdads. So there must be crawdads in this. Uh, stream down here or in this swimming hole. I guess it's possible they could have been using them as bait but not normally. Pretty pretty quiet. I know there's a fisherman upstream from me a little bit. Uh, he and I have already talked. But overall for a Saturday afternoon, late Saturday afternoon, again there's hardly anybody out here. Man, this is pretty. A little further downstream, kind of following the contour of what has turned out to be a river now, even though it's supposed to only be a creek. That's getting pretty, pretty good flow. I'm going to keep following the trail for a little bit. This is a convergence of all the different ecosystems together because um, I've got right down here at the river I've got deciduous uh, uh, trees but right next to it I've got manzanita right next to that I've got holly and then right next to that I've got ponderosa pine uh, the uh, manzanita being right in there intermixed with the pine trees and uh, 
Uh, this is just crazy. We have a very, I love these hikes because you just, sometimes you can just kind of become one with nature and, and debating whether I want to stick around and uh, see about getting some shots at sunset and then make my way back to the Jeep uh, for make, make my way back while it's light. Uh, I'm not really worried about it storming much and I've definitely got high ground even if it did. So I'm not worried about flash floods. Uh, still, you get into some place like this and you just absolutely don't want to leave. Catch a little bit while I'm hiking here because this is just really, really serene, pretty. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but I, you can definitely hear the water from where I'm at. The uh, creek is maybe 20 feet away from me. You can see it right through the trees there. And I'm just following a rock trailhead. Using my walking stick on one side and trying to hold and balance the camera on the other. And kind of a sand beach. It's almost too quiet here. All right, I'm gonna hike a little bit more. Well, decided to take a break um, before I decided to head back to the Jeep. It's just so quiet and serene up here, except for the bugs that are flying around my face. But you can see behind me here, this just continues on. You can hear the water of the creek off to the side here. It would be a great place to, uh, to camp near the water, listening to that all night. Uh, my only regret, I guess, in all of this is that uh, since um, my wife passed away, I don't have somebody that I'm sharing this walk with that's as passionate about as exploring as I am. But that'll happen or it won't either way uh, I'm still out here I'm still uh, close to nature enjoying this and I'm gonna see what else I can find on the way back to the Jeep and then in the way back to town because as you can see sun's already down below the horizon there um, it's not gonna be long before uh, it starts to get dark and that would be its own set of beauty I never did catch up with the rain quite as much as I wanted to. So, let's head back. Time to call it a day out on Bear Flat Trailhead. I'm already on my way back. Um, it's not all about finding mines and buildings and everything else. Sometimes you just need to take a hike. And that is just as good and just as soothing as uh, almost anything you can come up with. So, hopefully you enjoyed it a little bit. If you did, like, subscribe, follow me here on here and on Facebook, and I will see you on the next adventure. Thanks and bye now.